LastPass business account administrators can set up and configure Active Directory Federation Services, or ADFS. With this, users can utilize their organization's Active Directory accounts to log into LastPass without ever having to create a second master password. It's highly recommended before you begin to refer to the Setup Simplified Federated Login for LastPass using ADFS documentation, which can be found at support.lastpass.com. Here you can review the requirements, suggestions, restrictions, and process. To get started, be sure you have access to the ADFS server environment, as well as the server where you will be running the AD connector. In your LastPass business account, you'll want to open up your admin console. Also, you're going to be gathering some information for this process, such as the identity provider URL and the identity provider public key. So, keep a text editor handy to store it all in. Over in the ADFS server environment, you'll want to open up the ADFS management application. Once it's open, Go under Service and then select the option to Edit Federation Service Properties. You'll want to copy the Federation Service name and bring it over to your text editor. Prefix it with HTTPS colon slash slash and then paste in the information. Now you'll need to know the specific directory to place at the end, so back in the ADFS server environment, Go under Service once again, and here you'll select the subdirectory endpoints. In the Token Issuance section, locate the entry with SAML 2.0 slash WS Federation. You'll want to copy the URL path, and you're going to take this and append it to the Identity Provider URL. And once you have done so, that's going to complete the information that makes up this URL. So next we need to get the identity provider public key. We're going to now instead go under certificates and from here choose the token signing certificate to view. Under the details tab you can scroll down and locate public key and here's where you're going to be able to highlight and copy the entire public key. So bring this back over to your text editor and just paste it in and now you have the Identity Provider Public Key and can use both these pieces of information in the Admin Console to configure your LastPass Business Federated Login settings. So back in the Admin Console, go under Users and then select Federated Login. Here you'll choose Active Directory Federated Services and then paste in the first provider URL. Now you can go back to your text editor and copy over the public key. To finish, make sure Enabled is checked, and then Save Changes. This will generate your LastPass Assertion Consumer Service URL, which you're going to need later, so copy that over into your text editor. Okay, now you need to go over to Directories to set up the LastPass Active Directory Connector. Download the AD connector locally, and once it's downloaded, you're going to need to move this file over to your dedicated connector server environment. Now, this cannot be installed on the ADFS server. So, once you've copied this and pasted it over to the connector server environment, you'll want to start the process of installing the AD connector. Now, as part of the install process, you'll need to allow making changes. This is just part of installation, and even then, once you're done, you'll be prompted once more to confirm that you'll allow making changes. Okay, with the AD connector now installed, you'll log in with your LastPass business credentials, and once you're logged in, you'll want to be sure under Actions that when a user in Active Directory is detected, it will automatically create user in LastPass. Be sure you update settings if you needed to make this change. And once you're done, you can go under Federation and get the company-wide key. You can click Edit and then generate new secret key over and over until you like what you have. Then you can copy that information and once again we're going to go over to the text editor and store it. Now. Back in our dedicated connector server environment, we'll save configuration 
and also verify that we want to make this change. You'll also want to go to home and verify here that Active Directory is connected, the AD connector is running, and that we have enabled sync. Okay, so that's it for the AD connector. Now we need to register our company-wide key. So back in the admin console, go under Federated Login, and once again, open up Active Directory Federated Services. We're going to download the ADFS Server 4.0. You'll be copying this over and installing it on the ADFS server environment. And if you are using Windows Server 2012 R2, you'll want to use the 3.0 ADFS server. But the 4.0 version that we're installing, this is generally used for Windows Server 2006, 2019, and 2022. You'll need to install the ADFS Server 4.0 as an administrator. So open up a PowerShell as the administrator and execute the installation from there. Once you've located and executed the installer, you'll need to enter both the LastPass Assertion Consumer Service URL and the company-wide key as part of the installation process. So go ahead and copy these over from the text editor to paste into the installer for the ADFS server 4.0. When you're done, you can finish up the installation and it should be fairly quick, but once it is done, you're going to want to restart the service. So open up services and once it's open, locate the Active Directory Federation service. Let's restart the service. All right, now to finish, we'll apply an access control policy change. Back in the ADFS management application, here you'll select Relay Party Trust and then LastPass Trust and choose to edit access control policy. Here you're going to permit everyone as the policy and apply it. Okay, well, that's it. You've just set up Federated Login for LastPass using Active Directory Federation Services for your LastPass business account. All of your newly populated Federated users will receive a welcome email informing them that they can now log in and use LastPass. For more assistance, please check out our documentation at support.lastpass.com.